Hey, what's up guys? Omar here, broker and CEO of Alden Mortgage and Ome Realty. So this is gonna be another mortgage rate update. We're also gonna be talking about the eviction moratorium that has ended. Kind of, sort of, not really though, but how much of a bullshit it is. And, you know, as a landlord, I shouldn't be saying these things, but this is what's gonna end up happening and how people are navigating their way around it. Another mortgage company has taken a big hit, 600 plus employees, it's like a domino effect. Mortgage company after mortgage company after mortgage company, they're all just dwindling away. And it's not even so much the rates because as you see, my rates are way better than the national average rates. Most of their companies were better than the national average rates. They're better than the big banks. So why are they actually going down? And then how much home sales have actually decreased? And I'm telling you right now, there is n this is not a seller's market anymore. There's no more, there's no such thing. I don't care who tells you what, but we'll go ahead and go with the numbers on that too. So let's go ahead and go get on with the mortgage rate update. We're gonna be pricing out 10 mortgaging products as of 7-12-2022, so let's get on with it. I'm not going to do the previous market day because I feel like I should just get through this really, really quick. 30 year fix will be sitting at 4.85. 15 year fix will be sitting at 3.75. 30 year jumbo will be sitting at 5.15%. Debt service cover ratio, which is also known as a DSCR loan, that just means it's an investor loan where it's a no income, no doc, no nothing. It just qualifies you based off the total income that's coming in from the property versus the total debt going out. Debt service cover ratio is sitting at 7.85%. Bank statement loans, where we just qualify you based off your uh, income you have on your bank statement, is sitting at 7.5%. FHA 30 year will be sitting at 4.35%. 7.6 adjustable rate mortgage will be sitting at 4.75%. USDA 30 year fix, which is one of those zero down payment programs, will be sitting at 4.13%. VA 30 year fix will be sitting at 4.73%. And the hard money fix and flip loans are still going to be static at 9.15%. So let's go ahead and talk about this eviction moratorium, okay? So the eviction moratorium has just ended for majority of counties, except in Los Angeles, which is still going on, and I think some parts in like, you know, Northern California and Alameda County. So the reason why this is absolute bullshit, okay? So let's say, for instance, hypothetically, you owe 70, 80,000 dollars in back paid rent, right? That sucks. It's not beneficial to anybody. Oh my God, what do I do? How do I get around this? This is what you do, okay? And I know I'm not supposed to be telling you this, but does it make sense for you to pay that fifty, sixty thousand dollars, or does it be make more sense to you to go ahead and uh, expunge the eviction, base it off of COVID? Okay, e very, very easily to do, especially if you want to go ahead and get a judgment on it. If you want to get a judgment to go ahead and cooperate to move out on a specific day, hey, there you go, you avoided an eviction on your record. Well, then, Omar, what do I do after I get evicted and then the person sues me? Well. I guess that's great. Go ahead and sue me. Sue me as much as your little heart desires because it doesn't mean that you're going to get your money anyway. So what does it make more sense to do? Pay the fifty, sixty thousand dollars or just go ahead and file for bankruptcy for like a thousand bucks? So that's just a shithole that this eviction moratorium when it has like, you know, all these tenants and all these tenant relief programs, but nothing for the landlord, because this is what ends up happening. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a slew of bankruptcies where the landlords end up getting nothing in return, and then all of a sudden the tenants are, are, are free and clear. And the only reason why I'm even saying this is because this is what's happening. This is what's happening to me. This is what's happening to landlords all across the road. They don't give a shit. They don't give a damn. So if they don't get approved off of uh, the emergency rental relief, which in the state of California and majority of states, they do have this rental relief, then you're just kind of shit out of luck. You're not gonna get anything out of it. So what's the point of even, even doing it? Now, for instance, I had a tenant, they made well over $100,000 a year. Their rent wasn't that bad. I dropped their rent by, by $1,200. And I said, I'll even drop it down, just anything to cover any sort of cost. And you know what? Because they didn't have to, they didn't pay for it. Sprout Mortgage is another really, really big company. So there's this really big mortgaging company now. Redfin is one of them, Compass is one of them. But as far as mortgage goes, Fairway, uh, just uh, Bank of America, Chase, Wells Fargo, all these companies are either A, reformatting their position so they're retaining their employees, but they're just positioning them into another like sector. Like for instance, if you are in a home loan department for, I don't know, JP Morgan Chase, right? Then they're gonna go ahead and say, okay, well, if you're not into the, uh, your home loans is decreasing, you have one or two choices. Either you could go ahead and swap over from home uh, lending to let's say a personal banker or um, a, the business merchant side of things or whatever sector they have, or you could go ahead and, and uh, go away. But they are laying off. Now majority of these companies are now lay up, 
Sprout Mortgage is one of the biggest companies out there as far as non-QM, non-qualified mortgage. These are mortgages that don't fall under the Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac guidelines or the VA, USDA, you know, these government-backed loans. Sprout Mortgage, they had 600 employees. They just shut down, shut down shop. It was really, really weird because the day before, I was getting calls talking to them about a deal that we were supposed to go through, and then the following day, I was just getting like, you know, cold shoulder. I was like, what, what the hell is going on? Why? Well, and then I get a blast email that they're go ahead and shut down shops. Home sales. Now, I don't care. Now, this is not a seller's market anymore. Let's just let's just get that out of the out of the realm of things that you want to go ahead and know. This is not a seller's market anymore. This is now going to be somewhat of a neutral market. There is no buyer market. There is no seller market because buyers are not buying in the way that they were before because we have peaked peak like crazy like the emails that I get on a daily basis price reduce price reduce and motivated sell the craziest one that I got now listen to this the craziest one that I got as far as somebody trying to sell their home 5% commission on the buyer side 5% commission on the seller side total 10% so if you bought a million dollar if it was a million dollars you were paying a hundred thousand dollars in commissions to get this thing sold now scared money don't make no money and that looked like it was scared money. Now this is across the board everywhere we go. Every single person is, is in the same line. And it's not the fact that people aren't out there willing to buy the homes. There are people out there willing to buy the homes but not for the price that is out of reach for them. Not they don't want to they don't want to overextend themselves. They are like this is just way too stupid. This is ridiculous. I'm not going to pay you know, five, six hundred thousand dollars over what a house is really actually worth. That just seems to be the case that happens a lot here in California. But that's going to be your mortgage rate update. That's going to be some of the things that's going on in the world of real estate. And if you like the content, like, subscribe, comment for up to 50% commission rebate, 0% listing on selling your current home or any mortgage assistance. And like all the ones that I just mentioned, link in the description below. Let me help you out or anybody. Let me beat your big bank. That's all I request. Put me on the list of lenders to go ahead and help you at least attempt to go ahead and beat your big bank because my rates are way better than majority of all your big banks. So your banks, whoever you bank with, your credit union, for the most part, my rates are better. Save yourself some money. Until next video, guys.